So when's the best time to plant a tree? Well, obviously, 20 years ago. When's the second best time to plant a tree? Well, it's today. But I'm not here to talk about our little rewilding project here in the, in the field where we've been uh, just letting nature take its course with a bit of help from us, actually, <laughs> over the last five years. So we've got about 100, just over 100 trees on the go here now. Um, most of them you can't see above the grass, but there's a few bigger ones. Anyway, um, it's the 8th of May. Welcome to Kitty Nero Diaries. And today is a day when the eight solar panels that I put up in 2019 will record just over 10,000 kilowatt hours produced. They're on 9,999 this morning. So another one of my obsession with numbers, I suppose. Uh, but anyway, um, so put the panels up in 2019. Obviously the best time to put panels up was five years ago. <laughs> um, and in that time, say they've produced, uh, as of today, 10,000 kilowatt hours, um, which is enough to drive the car 70,000, just over 70,000 kilometers. But if you allow for some uh, losses in AC to DC, probably about 66, 67,000 kilometers. Sorry, the, the bangs you can hear are not hunting, guns going off, it's uh, bird scarers. This is a time of year when um, the farmers have got the seed on the ground, mostly for sunflowers and corn. And uh, for a few weeks, you get the compressed air explosions going all around, <laughs> all around here. There's another one. Um, so yeah, uh, it's important, I think, to see this link that, you know, we're going through a revolution now. Um, as recently as like 2017, only 1% of all electricity generated in the world was from solar. In 2022 it was 4%. It's growing so fast that in another six, seven years about 15% of all the world's electricity will come from solar and that's just going to keep on rising. It's interesting that the panels that I bought in 2019 uh, were only 300 watts each and, and the technology has moved on to the point where today if I was buying some panels I'd be paying exactly the same price. Um, I've looked online to see what the panels cost um, <clears throat> but no, I, I'd be getting 440 watts per panel not 300 watts so what's true for tree planting isn't quite true for solar that actually if you plant them uh, plant them if you put them up <laughs> more recently you're going to get more bang for your buck but you know um, I put them up when I did. They're on the roof. They don't need any maintenance um, down there on the barn. And uh, they've given us, you know, 67 to 70,000 kilometres of, uh, of driving, if you like, because our metre here just goes backwards. It's an old mechanical type of metre. So today, sun is shining. Uh, the metre will be going backwards. Um, I plug the car in and obviously it races forwards quite quickly. So just to give a bit of context to those numbers, um, 10,000 kilowatt hours produced by the solar panels um, at uh, current electricity prices here in France. It's about 2,000 euros worth of electricity and that's including tax. Um, obviously the prices were much lower when we first put the panels up but um, I think we were paying 10 centimes or something a kilowatt hour now it's 16 plus tax uh, so we call it 20 um, so you could say that uh, the panels still haven't really paid for themselves because the panels and the inverters cost about 16 1700 euros and then there was all the cabling and the labor to put them up on the roof so I think I spent about three and a half thousand euros on putting the original eight panels up five years ago. Um, so they still haven't paid for themselves in the context of um, just producing electricity. But of course, given that uh, I only got the panels because we had the electric car, that was my sort of incentive really for an interest in doing it. Uh, uh, to drive that far in... Um, uh, a petrol or diesel car doing 50 miles to the gallon 
would cost just under six thousand euros at today's prices so and if i didn't have the panels it would have cost me two thousand euros at today's prices in electricity so um undoubtedly um it was a good investment because the panels will keep on producing i mean say they're not the latest technology but um they um they're just up there and you don't have to do anything and then i was in 2022 i put another three panels up on the south facing wall of the barn they are 375 uh, watts per panel so as you see price stays the same technology gets better uh, which is what we're going to see with electric cars or what we are seeing anyway with electric cars so the other uh, significant thing about this month is that uh, 50 years ago, in 1974, I passed my driving test. <laughs> uh, I can't remember what day it was. All I remember was that I had an absolutely rotten cold. It was my first attempt at passing. Um, and some of my, I would say, more confident, would I dare say, arrogant friends 17 year old friends um had failed <clears throat> first time and i just felt awful i had this rotten cold i didn't really give myself much chance of passing first time uh, so i guess i was quite relaxed um and uh i passed so uh, yeah and a few days later uh my dad gave me the keys to his car which was a Mark I Cortina, 1963 model, 62, 63, beautiful thing. Um, and he gave me the keys and he said, uh, right, go and pick your nan up. Because um, she used to come over for Sunday dinner with us, our nan. She said, so he said, Don't, go and pick your nan up. Here's the keys. It's not a bloody toy. <laughs> So you can imagine what was going through his mind. 17 year old me, just passed my test a few days before. And uh, so it was my first solo, uh, going to pick my nan up uh, and bring her back to our house for Sunday dinner. So yeah, solar panels and electric cars, mutually beneficial technologies that are moving very rapidly and uh, going to help us uh, get off our addiction to fossil fuels and uh, make all this kind of stuff around us um, just the air and just the world a cleaner better place anyway I'm in the field I've got lots to do today because we've had about a week of continuous rain it's been unseasonably wet and cool here but we're in for some sunny days now and uh, so yeah anyway thanks for watching until the next time